G'day, welcome back to my mini home workshop, episode 6, Lathe Upgrade Part 2. Right from the get go, finding materials to make things out of was, was quite an issue, and I resorted to buying what's commonly referred to as mystery metals from the local scrap slash recycling places. Indeed, we have one only 150 metres from the entrance to the village we live in. But just recently, I found on Lazada a steel, well not a steel merchant, a materials merchant up country that sells short lengths of steel, brass, plastic, stainless steel in all sorts of shapes and sizes and it allows me to buy small quantities of material that would otherwise require me to buy six metre lengths which is what everyone around here wants you to do. And even then, you can only get things like anchor line and RHS, stuff like that. That discovery enabled me to rethink the way I was going to go about building new slides and provided me with all the uh, materials that it would take to do so. I bought a lot of different bits and pieces and, and squares and flats and rectangular pieces and then kept working it out. I had some height constraints considering I had to work to an existing spindle but I just kept working at it and uh, eventually ended up all the right bits and pieces. Some of the sizes I couldn't get, uh, the right size, had to mill them down, cut them up with the angle grinder, do whatever I had to do. Uh, lots of drilling and tapping and bolting things together. But eventually I, I came up with uh, something that's really rigid and I think will work very nicely. Uh, I built a compound slide. I made a base for that after watching another video where a guy had a, a lathe which had a two bolt clamping system for the for the compound and he modified it to be a four bolt system. And I basically based what I made on that idea and it works very well. You only need to do the nuts up finger tight to clamp it so that you can't move it by hand. So once they're fully tightened I can't imagine it will move anywhere. It swivels very freely and very smoothly and it's just a lovely mechanism. I'm very proud of it. I love it. We have to make some bearing housings and things like that for the, for the compound slide. It has no thrust bearings at all. I've just used a skateboard wheel bearing and I've just machined up a little brass uh, bush that fits uh, through the centre of that on one side as a thrust washer and uh, the other side has another brass bush pushed up, uh, screwed up against it. Uh, everything screws onto a 6mm all thread that I bought, stainless steel all thread. It seems to be a better quality than the mild steel ones that are floating around the place. Uh, I made up my own nut to run on that all thread. It, it has very little backlash in it so it should work okay. How long that lasts for is another story. The micrometer wheel you saw in the previous video wasn't my first attempt at making one of those. Uh, originally I made a little brass one for this one but uh, didn't like it. So I machined it down and into a bush. Uh, I mentioned it previously as a, a nut so that's what it is now. And machined up some aluminium ones and marked them out. And they look much much better. They seem to work fine. Also made a little aluminium handle for it and mounted all that up and it works great. The operation is really really smooth and uh, I'm really impressed. I love I love the way it works. It's really good. It was all coming together now. I'd spent uh, four or five weeks on this battling away with it. I had its uh, wipers to the to the main cross slide. You were seen in the previous video uh, where I made the handle and the micrometer wheel for the cross slide. If you missed that, there's a, there's a card up in the right hand corner now that you can watch that. Uh, one thing that was missing was a scale for the compound. And I was wondering how I was going to do that until I stumbled across this little brass protractor on Lazada. I ordered that and it showed up pretty promptly. Uh, I cut the centre out of it and hit it with some black fingernail polish, sanded it up, gave it a coat of clear lacquer and uh, it is what you see there. Well, uh, it's not marked the right way, but it's better than nothing. One of the things I did uh, while I was waiting for things to show up over this period was to true up the jaws on this crappy chuck. 
this three jaw chuck. Uh, plenty of videos on YouTube on just how to go about doing this. I just ran the carbide tip boring bar backwards out through it and cleaned the, the jaw tips up. Did a pretty good job actually and I was surprised just how much of the the slack I managed to get out of it. it it's pretty good now and um, you can the little run out that's left now you can get out of it just with a bit of a tappity tap tap. As you can see you've got about three hundredths of a millimetre there which is only a little over one thousandth of an inch which is nothing. Pretty happy with that overall. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I spent a long time assembling all of this and getting it just right so I've just partially disassembled it and thought I'd uh, show you how it all goes together. You can watch this without my dulcet tones.
Later that afternoon, the two new gears I'd been waiting for showed up, but they arrived a bit too late to finish the job, but I did get started on it. The lead screw for the cross slide is a 2mm pitch. Uh, the markings on the graduated micrometer are in one hundredths. So the two gears I ordered were 20 teeth and 40 teeth, which means that for every one rotation of the handle, cross slide will move one millimetre. Five years ago, we built some new kitchens out the back and uh, beautiful solid timber things, really nice. Just recently, the termites decided they liked the taste of it. But anyway, I managed to salvage some of the, the timber out of the cupboards and I used it to make, some, uh, make a drawer and put some shelving in the trolley, which uh, helps with my storage problems. So I had complete lack of storage here. Well, that's all I have for you for this episode. Uh, sorry again for the amount of still images. I'm still working on making lots of video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button and click on that subscribe button as well to keep up to date. And while you're there, click on that little bell icon. It'll uh, let you know when I publish something new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.